hi guys you welcome back to android material design basics we're still on the activity transition uh what about we talking about the second of the list which is the slide let's get to integrate the slide into an android application i'll be going straight to the layout uh, where i'm going to actually create a new layout file where i'm going to call it fragment slide Okay, to create the structure and uh, I'm click on the text. Now, if it's a linear layout, Android, we need to give an ID. Very important. We are actually going to reference this ID in the Java class. So, give an Android. Annotation, ID, or give it transitions container. Just this way, transitions container. Uh, the weight layout with tonight match parent, orientation, vertical. Now we're going to need gravity. Gravity. Center horizontal. Need Android padding top. Twenty four dp. That's cool. Now we're going to include two layouts. First layout will be include layout. We call the art layout. Button. We've not created that. We need to create this particular layout. We need to include another one. Triple layout. Layout text. Have that right there. It's created. So that took, that's going to take us down to creating the button XML to actually have the layout resource file called button and uh, we actually get to create that quickly okay so go back to the text so this is actually going to be a button Well, we have layout with tonight. Let's assign an ID first. Very important. Android ID button. And uh, we'll get to. Let's take away this orientation. Don't really need it. Yeah, so tonight should be wrap content. Yeah, it also should be wrap content. Now we're going to have the text on it. Call it do magic. <laughs> That's funny. Maintain proper case. Now we're going to call the theme. Ah, 
Kasta. Tim. That takes us down to the styles XML. So we need to create this particular style. So move over there, over here. Now we're going to have something of this nature. Style. The name will be app theme white. item name color control control highlight only the android so I give it ash it's it F, 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 F. Well, not a item. This time is going to be Android. Text. Color primary. Call the at Android. color white that's fine back to the part in XML that should go can you see that that's what we need so after creating this particular uh, XML we'll be moving straight to the Java class where we're going to talk about the slide sample but before doing that in the Java class, we need to include this in the main activity. The main activity must carry the case of the title. You know, we need a title. So that is actually going to show up in the recycler view. That's the second one. And it returns. slide transition second fragment we created is one it's going to return new slide sample So we got to create this particular class. So new Java class, slide sample. That's fine. Now this class extends sample. Extends the fragment parent class. So we need to import this. Alt enter mission four. First of all, we have the nullable and the override. Now we're going to create a public view. Just like the way we did for the, uh, the image transfer sample. On create. View. About past the layout. Inflator. Called inflate. Layout inflator. Called inflator. 
for the view group. Need to import this view group container objects bundle. Save the instance state. So let me import the view. I'll create an object from the view, which will be equals to the inflator. Call the inflate. Now we need to the layout because these are to inflate a fragment. It's, it's not an activity, it's a fragment. Or the fragment slide. Container. Forms. the final view group transition chain post view group now you get the ID from the view find the ID container over the stop final text view of the text cross text view transitions container find view by ID ID text. Now you call the transitions container to find the view by ID, which is the button. We'll set an on-click nested to this. Sheets with a new visible toggle click listener. That's why we need a visible toggle. As a class we the sheet with. You can see that it's created smoothly. Now we need the transition manager. Begin. Delay transition or pass the transition container to a new slide. Gravity to the right. You can have to the right or to the left. So, where is the slide coming out from? That's what that is. Now we're going to have the text set visibility. Visible scenario view visible. Now you need to read on the view with uh, if you notice uh, the call requires API level 19 or 21 so we need to actually change the minimum SDK 
So we go there to the model build gradle minimum SDK 21 sync. So easily move back to the slide sample and uh, once once uh, gradle configures it, it should it should disappear. So actually I have to size little patience with that. Can you see them? They are gone. So back to the main activity. Let's look. Now we have that also gone. So we've been able to create another transition which is called slide. Whereby we have the uh, the function slide gravity either right or left when we call the transition container. You no, know, just like when we call the text. So it's actually uh, called on the text. You can use this transition container on an image view as well if you want your the image to have a sliding effect you know or you're actually doing this on a text so it's just going to make it simple and quick to understand so this is just how to create uh, a transition using the slide effect you know we actually created a fragment and we need to inflate the fragment uh, using the inflator to call the layout fragment slide which are uh, it's actually sitting right there in the rest the layout the fragment slide uh, that includes the button and also the text you now can see how they flow so that takes us down to the slide sample where we started the transition manager where we call the visible toggle click listener that was created earlier in the first tutorial that was actually this you know when we have the on click on the button, you know, which is actually going to change the visibility, you know, the, when you click it, it changes uh, its visibility. So I'm actually going to launch this in an emulator so that we're going to see how it looks, and we're going to appreciate the slide effect in an Android application. In this which led to the magic, let us actually do the magic. A click on this will bring the text transitions are awesome. You know, when you click back, it's actually going to take it back. You know, it's sweeping from the right, which we did from the graffiti slide. It's actually sliding down from the right. You know, you can as well incorporate this into an image. Uh, probably this is how you can use this build an image gallery when you have the sliding effect you know, from the right of the page. Can you see that? When you click it back again, it goes back. So this is an activity transition uh, effect done or uh, as a slide uh, display. So thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, particular session. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't go anywhere. We're going to actually explode out. So that's going to be the next transition. Bye-bye for now.